Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing Interstellar Rift. So in this episode, I want to go to another system. Um, I have um, the YT2000. It's a, a ship uh, based on a Star Wars, a Star Wars vessel. Uh, in fact, it was. Um, it is based on a um, like. Um, a, a, a a previous version of the Millennium Falcon because there they went through several iterations for the Mil Millennium Falcon and this uh, ship here is similar to one of the intermediate forms I wanted to show it to you um, okay so there we go so this is the ship and this is uh, where we will be using this ship um, it has several advantages of, over the Millennium Falcon I did for Interstellar Rift uh, it has two uh, containers so this helps to have um, more space for the, for the cargo um, also it has a cargo teleporter and this is very useful uh, when uh, you go to systems that are um, that are not um, uh, de developed like they, they have um, construction satellites uh, but n not much uh, not much services on them so you would need a cargo teleporter if you want to like contribute materials to get the stations um, started to, to get the stations built let me put this here and we we are going to need um, xanthium of course to make the jump this uh, ship doesn't have um, a rift uh, generator so we will have to go to a rift hub to perform a jump we're going to go to the valera system so in interstellar rift if you want to jump to uh, other tier systems you have to earn reputation from the faction and then um, you you have to buy um, a cartridge to teleport to other systems so let's see we were looking for a rift hub right um, where is this rift hub ah yes we have to the rift hub and the rift station i don't know which one let's go to this one it's the closest there's a difference i think that um, probably the rift station is bigger right than the rift hub there's a difference but in, in any case um since we don't have a rift generator we need to We, oops. We need to like hire this service. I don't know what happened there. Hmm. There's something wrong. Probably I don't have enough energy. What's up with the? Uh with a jump with a hyperspace uh, we have navigation oh we are full power and power dirt there doesn't seem to be anything unusual um, the only thing would be the the asteroids that are preventing us to jump Let's see. Uh, 
Let's try that again. Okay. Now that's weird. I don't know why I cannot... Ah, look at that. Some skrills. Okay, they have changed some things. It seems. Some updates to the game, but I'm not sure if this has to do with the jumping, the fact that I cannot jump. Let's take care of these creatures. So there, there were some. Uh, the cockpit was not assigned to the right group. So now I have the cockpit. You see here that the indi the power indication is different now. Okay, so I think we can do this now. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so... What we are going to do now is we go to the rift hub and we jump to the <coughs> Alpha Valera system. And that's a tier 1 system. And there um, we will find other materials. Yeah, one thing about traveling to other systems is that you have access to other materials that let you build then higher tier um, components for your ships. And we're here. So another advantage uh, comparing to the Millennium Falcon is that this ship is faster. And... But of course, it, it can take more um, more cargo. So once uh, you have the ship full, I don't know if it's going to be as fast as the Millennium Falcon. Let's say if if you compare them, um, loaded, let's say. So it could be that this ship, uh, once loaded, it could get. Um, slower than the Millennium Falcon but in general it's a better ship if like comparing them empty this ship is faster okay so we are now at the rift hub and uh, okay 
That's his Caverian. Let's see, where is Tier 1 systems? Ah, that's tier 1, right there, this is the Alpha Valera And the Alpha Valera system, this is what I need Yes, it has the, here you can see what can you expect from the system, right? Like which factions are dominating, currently the Drifters are dominating <laughs> The Skrill are strong there and we expect to find um, beside water, water is the most ab abundant resource. Next is iron, and then we have uh, silicon. This is uh, silver, and that one is um, iridium. Okay, so what you have to do is uh, you have to introduce uh, the tier 1 uh, cartridge in the rifted generator and you have to uh, set the, um, the rift generator to or ship right and usually I will um, multiply the mass this the, the rift that is generated um, is uh, based on the mass so depending on um, the mass of your ship you need more or less um, Santium right so but once you create the rift the rift uh, is shrinking so it's losing like um, it's getting smaller and it's uh, unable to uh, hold as much mass as when created so that's why uh, there is this uh, times two multiply here here that will make it safe for you like until you um, get there you're safe to to travel right because it has happened to me that i create a rift exactly to the ship mass and then once the rift is created if, if i wait uh, too long until I go through the through the rift, then um, the rift doesn't hold the mass of, of my ship. Okay, so once you place the Santium on the rift generator, then this is um, shown here. And once you press engage, the rift will be generated. I take back my things, of course because I don't want to leave them there so now we teleport to the to our ship and we can now jump through the rift let's do that So the rift is right here. And there we go. We are in the new system now. Alpha Valera. So I don't remember um, what do we have here. There's a Voltron, yeah, a black market. Then there's some. Um, oh, they're really not. There's really not much here. Just a Voltron and the black market. And what? Logic Corp. There's not even a yeah, construction satellite for anything else. Could it be that they got destroyed? Um, oh, that's strange. Okay, so that's uh, problematic. 
Okay, but let's see, what can we do here? We could go to the black market. The Voltron from the Voltron, we can get resources uh, that we have in our vault. I was hoping like to, well, let's see. Let's see what, what kind of missions, well, the drifters, they don't have very good missions. Also, Voltron, I think, has missions. But as you can see, this system is uh, really not that um, developed. Okay, at least the black market is uh, close to the Voltron. Well, it could be that um, there are some Skrill missions with uh, Drifters. We could do some of those. I think important is... But one thing I want to get uh, from this uh, Tier 1 system is... Um, some Dysanthium, or at least some... some of the components or raw materials to, to create this anthem. This anthem is used for larger ships. And we have another rift here. I think this was from a previous jump I made. This this goes to Vectron 6 as you can see. Let's reduce the speed. Scout. These scout um, missions are um, are done with this uh, with a with a yes with the sensors, but I don't know. <clears throat> Scout. Ah, but it's uh, probably tier one. I cannot perform this um, this scanning. Okay. Disable enabled. Ah, yes, there. Now I'm I'm scanning. So I'm ga I'm gaining as you can see here I'm gaining reputation with a with a um, Voltron because they have this mission to scout this um, base. Okay, so let's teleport and uh, let me see if we need to. If navigation is power, yes, we need to buff up the power gen generation.
Okay, so for example, yeah, what what could we do here? So uh, in tier one systems, another thing uh, we can do is to get tier one missions. So this will help us uh, gain reputation for um, for tier two. So every thousand uh, reputation uh, points, we get. Um, we get access to a new tier so the idea is to go tier 2 for example uh, and as you can see we have these um, missions they will give what some ammunition ok let's accept this thing search and destroy what this Precious cargo. And ah, look, the Xanthium. This is what we need. More the Xanthium, great. Okay. Yes, let's do that. Okay, so we have our missions now. What should we do? Okay, there's nothing here. I was hoping to see... Ah, here. The market. What is the market offering? Ah, I wanted to show you or standing with the uh, this galactic trade this logic corp okay but I don't see the drifter stand okay but I can show you uh, here in the diplomacy so currently with the drifter we have uh, 1100 uh, reputation so to to access um, Tier 2, we need 2000. With Hurls, we have 1035. Okay, so. And let's see the events here. In the events, you can see um, what events we have for each uh, faction. So, for example, for Hurls, there's only Scout. Get closest range of the mark location and, and enable your scanners. Okay, I I think if we perform this mission for hurls, then it could be that another event will pop up to build a station. And for example, for uh, the security faction, there is uh, uh, the mission to build a munition factory, scout and deliver some oxygen. For Logic Corp, they want to build a printing station. And this could be useful for uh, Galactic Trade. Um, there's an event to build ore and metal market. They need iron though. And for the Drifter, um, build a Drifter Scrap Refinery. Okay, so let's perform our missions and see if we can get some some disanthium because now it <coughs> the um, what I have now in uh, I, I managed to build a bigger ship in the Vectron 6 system but I cannot transport it to uh, tier 1 because of uh, I don't have this something so and in tier 0 it's really hard to get this something 
Okay, so now let's see what are the missions or maybe more useful since we, we got these missions to fight Skrill. We have to look at them from this point of view. So search and destroy. That is 16 light years away. This one is precious cargo. Ah, this is close. I think we'll go there first, probably. And this one also to search and destroy. Push back against the horde. This is uh, nine light years away. Sixteen. Okay, let's go to this station first to deliver the cargo. I think um, we are all set up here with uh, power. Yep. We have to get away from the planet. Now we are gaining reputation with logic opera. I think this is because we have the we have the Oh, there's a grunt here. I'm going too fast. Wow, there are so many here. But these are not part of the mission, I think. I'm just here... I don't know, testing my fighting skills or something. The problem is that there there are many... The Skrill here is strong. And I think it's good if we weaken them a little bit. So that's one. That's another one. We have to keep an eye on the ammo because we can run out of ammo. What is that here? I oh, know that's something else. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. Oh, that's a strong one. Okay. Our shields are not holding for long. Well, they are only 75%. Well, that's not much. Okay, I think... We can salvage these things.
Machine gun salvage. Let's, let's salvage. Let's put this here for the moment. Okay. Not much. I thought I was going to find more salvage. There's not that much. <clears throat> okay, so that's all. Let's continue to finish the mission. Let's put our weapons away. Uh, so... Ah, so this is uh, this is uh, this mission is in the Voltron. Ah, we can engage in our we can engage our sensors because there's a, a scout mission for the hurls. So maybe this will trigger uh, a station construction satellite event. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, more Skrills. Ooh. Okay, I need to... First, I will deliver this. But also, I need to... Um... To reload my weapons. So current ship, no. Where is this? Oops. Okay. Something weird is going on. Let's see. There is like no drop box. Oops, that was a mistake. I introduced the wrong thing. I wanted to introduce that one. It seems that the Skrills are somewhat far away because they haven't attacked yet, but There's no drop box for the... I'm not detecting the, the Voltron. Where's this Voltron station? Maybe I'm too far away. Ah, of course, two kilometers still. Two kilometers, I need to be 500 meters. Ah, uh, there, I'm performing like this um, sen uh, scout missions. That's great. So now I will deliver the cargo and we can attack the. Okay. 
Okay, some scout missions have been completed. There we go. Completed this one. There we had we have some the sound theme now. Okay. So now let's let, let let's look at the events. You see now Harls it doesn't have any mission here. We completed the scout mission. Um and hopefully uh hopefully we will have A new event. Okay, the Skrill are gone. I think they are some distance away. But we need to complete the other missions. Let's see. This one is at 16. What's the closest one? This one, right? At 9. Where are the skrills? Huh. They're really hard to... Ah, oh, there. Yes, now we are... on our way. So let's activate the weapons. activate the shields shields up and we're almost there hello guys This one is down. A 
Another one. Wow, this is really strong. This is one of the strong grunts. Okay, that's done. We can pick up some salvage. Okay, this one has some more. Okay, so I think that's that's enough. We can put this here. Okay, that's it. Let's group this one. And <clears throat> 225. I can place these things in the locker. This is what lockers are for, to place these things these devices okay house or power Need some buffing okay next stop and it's not far away now. It's not far away. Let's go there. Ah, let me first let me reload the weapons. So this is something when you're in these um, missions to kill Skrills, you have to keep an eye on on your ammo because you 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 need to keep. You don't want to be in the middle of the fight and have to reload these things, unless of course you have a crew member that can do this for you and probably if you have a, another crew member he will be looking after that <clears throat> but since we have to do everything also ourselves here I have to keep an eye on this so we are set
Okay, let's activate everything here. I need to switch power because yeah, we don't want to well, one thing about combat is that if you have your shields up, your shields will consume energy. Also your weapons will consume energy. So, um fight when fighting, you can buff your shields. This is something good about um, power groups. You can buff your shields, and if you need to, you can buff your weapons as well. So you make sure that you don't run out of uh, uh, power for your shields and your weapons. Okay, so here they come. He's the strongest. I will take him first. Okay, he's done. And another one. So I think uh, we still have one pending. There's not much. A lot of meat. A lot of meat. There's also iron. Now let's take some iron. Okay, that's good. And I think that's it uh, for now. I mean, the alien meat is not, for me, it's not that valuable. <clears throat> With it, you can uh, create this um, food, food cartridges. So this will restore your health. Um, but otherwise, if you could sell them like this raw alien meat, then it would be great. But I haven't seen a demand for that. So what you can do is sell these food cartridges. But usually I don't do it. Okay, so let's go for our next mission. Okay, I think we will have to... We have to search for them. Probably we'll have to go around the planet. Ah, but first I need to... I need to reload the weapons. Here we go.
That's it. And there are the squirrels. I think this is the last one. We're close now. Let's activate the weapons. Shields up. Because we are close. And wow, there are a lot. How many of them? Four? Oh no, there are three here. Uh, not so many. The usual. First one. Second one. And the third one. So that's it. Uh, one one good thing about the rewards they gave us now is that we have like this um, improved uh, ammo, so it it um, makes more damage than the standard ammo that we have now. Okay, this. Improve laser cell. That is a good thing. So let's see what does this one have. Yeah, let's mine that. The, um, there is this uh, nitrous oxide that's good for uh, ammo so that's why this is one of the most valuable things also the sink So if you want to like check out um, check out information uh, about stuff, for example the the cells. Let's go for the laser cells. Currently we're using the standard laser laser cell, and this um, standard les laser cell has a base damage of uh, 25, 
and a shield damage of 35. So if we compare to the improved cell, now the base damage is 30 and the shield damage is 50. So it's a significant um, improvement. And you, you would need a brass to, to make this one. And if we compare with um, the standard, standard, uh, the standard ammo, uh, the standard ammo uh, does 35, uh, sorry, 40 base damage, but it, it does zero uh, shield damage. So the standard ammo will um, make more damage, more ma base damage, but it doesn't penetrate shield. So it, when, when you have these uh, skrills that have uh, shields, uh, you need laser because otherwise you cannot do it much to them oh wait a second I have a lot of stuff here I will just leave the The crates are not maxed out, this is what I'm doing here. <coughs> okay. So we can switch to that other type of ammo. So that's better. Ah, but here I don't have... Okay, so what else? So I think we will leave it here. This episode. I will just reload. And in the next one, what I want to do is um, I want to go back to Vectron 6 and bring like the big um, the big ship I have there uh, let's see if events ah you see now what happens with hurls right we completed that scouting mission and now we can build a base refinery um, station So these are good um, good things. Well, whenever you you develop a system, then you will get more missions in that system. And also, if you have like limited um, limited uh, limited capabilities in your ship, you will need those services. So currently, for example, I cannot craft anything beside the uh, printer I cannot uh, assemble anything in this ship <clears throat> okay so that's um, everything for this episode I hope you enjoy it please leave a like and I hope to see you in the next video this is CyberSecular signing off.